All right, guys. Right now, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over-the-top beautiful day here in the end times. <coughs> Uh-oh, we're approaching 80 degrees. We could be seeing the big 8-0 for the first time in August of 2023 today. Oh, Jesus. I'm going to go find me some air conditioning. Although I'm sitting with the air conditioning blowing on me. So, right now, as you see, the sun is shining. But I guess I see some dark clouds on the... Uh, western horizon i don't know if sandy's getting pounded right now or not so it is one o'clock in the last four hours the weather forecast for uh Kander, new york up here in the finger lakes of new york has vacillated wildly it's like every 30 minutes they cannot decide whether we're getting ready to get hit by a monsoon uh, torrential tsunami or it's going to be a beautiful bright sunny day so right now when i just went on right before i left the house i took one more look and when you first turn it on it says we are under a severe thunderstorm watch in Candor, New York. A severe ass-kicking thunderstorm watch coming our way. And then right beside it, right beside it, oh yeah, with up to one inch of rain and, and heavy downpours. And then your eyes move, oh, maybe it's three inches on a 17-inch screen. And you're looking at just the regular weather forecast. And it's showing cloudy, claiming 40% chance of scattered afternoon and evening showers with rainfall totals totaling 0, 0.00 inches three inches away from saying one inch uh, <laughs> so that's uh that's the weather forecast for the for the next seven hours and we wonder we look at these long-term uh climate forecasts for the next hundred years so i get in my truck I turn on the uh, I turn on my engine and go to NPR. I have literally been on NPR for one second. The first word I hear coming out of NPR's mouth is threat. The word threat uh, is the first word that I hear in the fear stream media. And uh, then some woman interviewing somebody with the question, how worried should we be? How worried should we be? And at this point, uh, I, I'm, I'm still not even clear what the conversation is, but it comes out the conversation is, of course, Corona panic. Corona panic. Uh, how worried should we be? And the first word that I hear on the Fear Stream media today is the word threat. And... Uh, <laughs> Oh, good God. Uh, I was listening to this uh, interview. You can find it here on YouTube. I'm pretty sure it was on YouTube. This interview where this guy is interviewing both the Dalai Lama and Bishop Desmond Tutu uh, together. He, they're sitting there together. So this dude is interviewing... And, and the subject is how, you know, the, the interviewer is asking these guys, 
if there's any two human beings on the planet uh, who should know how fucked we are uh, and who should be, you know, just in a catatonic depression, it's the two of you. So how do you remain happy? How do you remain happy with uh, everything that is going on on this planet? And I think it was the Dalai Lama whose number one recommendation for uh, how to stay happy uh, during the collapse of everything was don't watch the news. Just turn off the news. And Desmond Tutu, you know, nodding his head like a dashboard chihuahua. Uh, obviously, uh, the way to remain happy, which I guess is another way of saying blissful, is to remain ignorant. Just ignorance is bliss. Uh, if you don't turn on the news, uh, you know, your life is a pretty good chance, you know, where you are. If, if you're a 63-year-old uh, vacation rental super host in the Finger Lakes of New York on a 79-degree beautiful August day uh, with... Uh, People coming in for the weekend, money in your pocket, uh, just uh, enjoying a beautiful day on the planet. Uh, and, if, and if I just wouldn't turn on the news, it would be a pretty nice damn day to, to, to be a normie on the planet. There's a little bit of smoke in the air, a little bit, I think, our... AQ, our air quality index, our AQI is standing at 58 right now. So we're a little bit into the moderate level of threat from uh, wildfire smoke. But you know, compared to 158, uh, 58 sounds pretty good. Look at all of this beautiful corn tasseling. The uh, uh, a bountiful corn harvest. A little bit late this year, but uh, it looks like it's going to be just a bumper year for the corn crop uh, in, in New York. Uh, just, just turn off the news, dude. Turn it off. And. Uh, then you add goddamn social media on top of uh, on, on top of the regular fear stream media, and my God, no wonder uh, we're a fucking uh, planet full of absolute panicked sheeple. And uh, so you're e either a doomer who realizes, yeah, we're fucked, and you might as well get out there, turn off the fucking news, get out there and enjoy it while you still can, uh, or you can just be one of these panicked normies uh, who can't go on the fucking radio for more than one second without hearing the word threat come out of some clueless fucking moron's mouth talking about some goddamn pandemic uh, that has killed 0.2% of this planet, uh, taking out a few old, fat, sick people who should have been dead years before anyway. Oh, uh, Jesus fucking Christ. You know, that the only news that I need to be paying attention to at age 63 is any threat to Social Security and uh, any bargains for hernia operations. So I guess I will be heading to Mexico uh, for a, a hernia operation for my, you know, for my abdominal walls falling apart. I'm going to get these four holes in my head plugged up. 
with, uh, I, I guess, some sort of temporary crown. Uh, while I'm down there, get my, you know, get some new glasses for my failing eyesight. I'll probably uh, take this gas-sucking truck with all of the warning lights, assuming it makes it to Mexico, leave it with some mechanic down there in Mexico to uh, just build me a new truck. Uh, does, it, does it, everything fall in the, the fuck apart? And, and uh, since uh, there's nothing I can do about it in this country, I'm heading to, you know, heading to a fucking third world country for my health care and my auto repair as everything falls apart. You know, I'm still saying that I am going to get out of this shit with this screen door, uh, you know, tapping me on my own guilty ass. I have no reason to be looking at this goddamn mainstream media news today. Open it up. So what was the... I, I, I can't even remember the number one story on the planet today. I just looked at it. About an hour ago, I, I spent about two minutes on the fucking Fear Stream Media. What was the number one story on the planet? But I do remember the number two story on the planet. The number two biggest story on this planet now two days after supposed Earth Overshoot Day. Although Earth Overshoot Day was about four months ago, not two days ago. Number two biggest story on the planet is that Donald Trump is pissed off because some judge called him Mr. Trump instead of President Trump. And Donald Trump is having a temper tantrum because a judge called him Mr. Trump instead of President Trump. So the editors of Yahoo News searched this planet far and wide for every piece of news uh, facing this planet in the middle of the summer of 2023 and came up with Donald Trump having a temper tantrum should be the number two thing on your mind today as you go about your business the number two thing most important thing you should be thinking about is Donald Trump having a temper tantrum and I can't remember the first most important thing that I'm supposed to be thinking about I think maybe the coral reefs in Florida came in somewhere in the top five about pretty much the 100% mortality rate of the coral reefs in Florida and about how the uh, the ocean I mean globally I guess last week has broken a new record the ocean is uh, the hottest it has ever been in since we started recording the temperature of the ocean. We have hit a new record and uh, all forecast up, up, up. But you know that, and that's where I stopped reading. So I read that. And, and that you know that's when I started just that's when I just started thinking about this rant. I don't live by the fucking ocean, all right. Uh, I will probably see an ocean in January, maybe December. I will see an ocean. The the fucking ocean has nothing. To do with me, uh, there, uh, my life uh, has gained nothing by learning that the global ocean temperature 
has hit a new record a couple of days ago and probably with each passing day the record will be broken again you know so the fucking coral reefs in florida are dead what the fuck does that have to do with my vacation rental business maybe it'll you know maybe people will read that and they will come to inland new york uh, maybe people will start looking at the goddamn temperature map the temperature has dropped two degrees since I started this rant it is now 77 degrees uh, <laughs> and maybe uh, people will actually start looking at the weather forecast for the Finger Lakes of New York and uh, start uh, coming up here on vacation now I so now yesterday I, I finally uh, for the first time in history the mainstream media started talking about uh, climate refugees kind of tongue-in-cheek uh, you know moving from the south to the north this was some uh, newspaper out of Maine out of the state of Maine and but what the article was talking about was the uh, the reverse snowbirds uh, you know the the oven birds there really is a bird called an oven bird like a real bird called a snowbird so the oven birds uh, you know is you, when you think of a snowbird it's somebody with new york plates heading to florida uh, you know between thanksgiving and easter and then coming back home to new york but uh, what this article was talking about was m more and more uh oven birds you know who who are who are residents of Florida, particularly talking retired people, since they don't have to go to work anymore, that more and more retired people living in the South are now buying second homes up here uh, to get away from the summer heat. So in a way, we we have the new south to north climate refugees that i've been predicting for how many years but then of course a lot like anyone from florida uh with a goddamn brain uh, they're going to turn around and uh head back uh home you know in november uh, after a goddamn winter time blows in up here and hurricane season wraps up down there but uh, but I do think they are correct on that that uh, you're going to be seeing more oven birds and that is going to be the first sign of the eventual uh, south to north uh, you know full time resident uh, climate refugees so since I moved from Texas to New York but then I bought property in New York and sold my property in Texas and I have New York plates I started out as an oven bird I guess and uh, so I have changed from an oven bird to a snowbird and anyway, right now I am a laundry bird, and uh, I'm gonna go check out a new laundromat. So I need to get my little robot on the phone, get out there and do your laundry. Wow, well, you still can! And for God's sake, would you stop watching the news? Listen to the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu. Stop watching the news. Be an ignorant, clueless moron normie and you will be happier. Oh my God.
Peace.